here we go hey guys what's up welcome back to EMT made easy so I'm being a little lazy today I don't feel like driving to my office so I'm just gonna make my video here at home hopefully you guys can still see it as good uh, without the lighting and all that fancy stuff I don't really use any fancy stuff I'm just playing um, I'm gonna go over anatomy and physiology just a little a little subsection of that but really it's more anatomy um, but it's under the category of anatomy and physiology uh, going, over the, going over the head and the spine today before we get into that what is anatomy anatomy is this in its simplest term we're just talking about parts here the body parts body systems just parts that's anatomy now physiology is the function of those parts so how they all work together or how they work by themselves it's just how they work all right so now, now that we got that out of the way let's go ahead and go into the, the head there's two different sections to your head right um, you have the skull which is the front part this right here that's considered your skull and then you have the cranium which is this big old thing right here this right here the top part where your brain lays that's your cranium. Two different things. Skull, cranium. Skull, cranium. Okay? Alright, so let's go over the, um, the skull first, the face part. Uh, just some real simple anatomy, things that will help you, you out in the field as far as like landmarks and how to explain things to doctors and nurses without looking dumb or other colleagues. Um, so first off, let's go over the easiest one, the nasal bone. The nasal bone lays right behind the skin of your nose. It's right here, right in the back of this nose. That's your nasal bone. And then right below that and kind of surrounding the nasal bone, you have what's called the maxilla. The maxilla bone. The way I remember this, and it was just really easy for me to remember, was that because the mustache goes right here, right? Maxilla kind of, kind of sounds like it could be mustache in a way it just kind of made sense to me so maybe that that'll help you out and it'll make sense for you maxilla mustache bone right here and then it kind of goes over or, and around the nasal bone and then attached to that are your cheekbones your cheekbones are known as your zygomatic bones zygomatic that was just a funny uh, sounding word to me so I kind of got that one right off the bat just zygomatic cheekbones cheekbones all right um, and then you go a little bit lower we have our job our jawbone aka if you want to get fancy and you do want to get fancy because you're gonna be EMT now it's the mandible the mandible so the mandible what's special about this one is that it's the only moving bone in your entire head all right the mandible jawbone um, so now let's go into the cranium of course this is the skull Let's go into the cranium. Now your cranium is kind of categorized differently because you have these things called sutures, right? Right here, they're sutures because when you were an infant, when you were small, they were kind of these like tectonic plates, like your dome, your head is like a little world, right? You know, you have, you have those tectonic plates that kind of just glide over each other and, and around each other or side by side. That's kind of how your brain was made, or not your brain, your, your, um, your, your cranium, the skeleton that makes the cranium, that bone. Well, eventually, as you get older, those solidify and they kind of just stay in place. They're called sutures, all right? So they're divided by sutures, and that's where they used to be separated before. But now they're not separated. separated. Now they're, they're kind of conjoined. They're together. They're fused together. So um, these, are, are set, these are called frontal. So that one should be kind of easy, uh, the one that's right here in the front. Because it's in the front. It's the frontal, the frontal bone. Then you have your, pari your parietal up here. Uh, your occipital is in the back, occipital in the back, and then you have your temporal, which is right here where your ears are at. So the, the temporal, that one's kind of, um, there's something that you should know about that, is that it's, it's the, the thinnest port, part, portion of your entire cranium it is your temporal. So if you ever have a patient that got hit with a baseball bat inside the head, or got hit with any kind of device, any kind of object, um, just know that if it was significant enough, it could have, it could have possibly cracked uh, that part of the cranium, and there could be severe bleeding within the head. Um, and you'll see that you know depending on your patient, how they appear, they got a, a blown pupil, um, that Cushing's triad, that whole thing, right? Um, which I've gone over in a different video. Uh, as far as like the the part of the brain, uh, 
that's for a whole different video too that I'm gonna get into, which, which is gonna be just about uh, CNS and just the brain itself. But I'm gonna kind of touch a little bit, a few parts, um, just the, so the frontal part, the frontal lobe. So just how these are called parietal, frontal, occipital, and temporal. The brain itself, these sections are actually named the same, so it should make it a little bit easier for when I get to that video or you get to that, that lecture in your class. So the frontal lobe, and they're called lobes, the frontal lobe part of your brain, that's what kind of lets us uh, lets us be human. It lets us be human. Human. So that's where we get our judgment from. Yet yeah, our judgment from um, like yes, I should do that, or no, I shouldn't do it. That's wrong. Stuff like that. Uh, your temporal that deals a lot with speech and um, hearing sensation also. And your occipital back here, the occipital lobe. That's for eyes. Your vision your vision um, and that's as far as I'm gonna get into that okay uh, there's a whole different video and I'll cover that then alright so let's go down to your vertebrae your spinal cord right now spinal column spinal column which is made up of a whole bunch of vertebrae so these right here your spine is made up of vertebrae and they look something like this they're just stacked up on top of each other that's all they are bunch of little vertebrae just stacked up on top of each other and the spinal cord goes right through them. This is a thing called the foramen right here. This is supposed to be a hole and the spinal cord goes straight straight down the middle and it's protected by your vertebrae. It's an extension of your brain. So just like how your brain is encapsulated and it's really protected, your, sp your spinal cord also is, which is an extension of your brain and it's really protected by these really dense bones called vertebrae. These are known as irregular bones. So yeah, there's different types of bones. There's long bones, uh, short bones, irregular bones, flat bones. These fall under the category of irregular bones, okay? Now there's different sections. You have one, two, three, four, five, five different sections of your spine. You have your cervical, your cervical section first, first, which consists of seven cervical vertebrae also known as C1 through C7 and that's where your neck is right so that's the neck portion the cervical portion also known as C1 C2 C3 if you hear that they're talking about the, the vertebrae in the neck all right then we go a little bit lower now there's 12 vertebrae in this section you know how you have 12 ribs on each side well they're actually connected to your to your vertebrae and we'll get into that in a different video but so there's 12 different vertebrae that consist of the thoracic. So thoracic is a fancy word for chest, chest cavity, chest area. Do you see you hear thorax, thoracic? We're talking about the chest. So thoracic vertebrae, also known as T1 through T12. Okay. You're going down lower. We have the five lumbar, right? And those are in the lower back, as far as like landmarks where to find them. Your lumbar vertebrae. L1 through L5, lower back. Then you have the sacrum, which is in the pelvic region. So in the pelvis, it's your sacrum. So if you want to just subcategorize them so you know where they are, that might also help you out. Because, uh, I mean, that's just how I'm on visual, so I have to see where it's at. Um, and that'll help me out. There's five, S1 through S5, okay? And then you go down to the coccyx coccyx or your tailbone, you, that thing you feel back here, I'm feeling it, you know, even though you can't see me, it's kind of weird, but <laughs> your tailbone, there are four of them and these are usually fused, so they're just kind of fused up together um, and that's how they look. All together we have 33 vertebrae. Their job really is to support you and also to support you, your weight and everything and to protect your spinal cord. Now do you see how it kind of gets they get bigger and bigger as you go down? That's because there's more weight to be bared on as you, as they get down lower. Um, so it's seven cervical, 12 thoracic, five lumbar, five sacrum, and four coccyx, making 33 vertebrae altogether. If you want to remember the regions as far as like what they're called, or cervical, thoracic, all those, there's a pretty cool mnemonic that was taught to me um, during my EMT class and it stuck with me ever since and it really made sense to me. Um, and it's down here. I'm gonna put this down just to make sure you guys can actually see it. I, I can see it, there it is. All right, so it's gonna be a little jacked up maybe, but we'll make it work. There we go. All right, so this right here, 
C, like a big C, like you're a gang member, <laughs> like C, uh, the Little Spine Crack. It's an awesome mnemonic. It helped me out during class. It still helps me out now. So C for cervical, the for thoracic, little for lumbar, spine for sacrum, and crack for coccyx. And you just put it together. At least it'll help you kind of categorize which ones where, and then you kind of just plug in the numbers for your test, for whatever you need it for. It's not a big deal. I'm not sure if I hit, hit this up, but your cranium does consist of flat, it's a flat bone. Just like uh, vertebrae or irregular bones, your, your cranium is made up of flat bones. A, a, a flat bone that goes all the way around. That's it for today, guys. I might make one more video, a little one. I'm a little bit of a lazy.